Hi, I'm Liz Nedden. Let's have a look at question 1b part 1 from the 2017 level 2 probability exam. So here is our question. So this survey that we were given um, previously talked about obesity um, but and that's what we've got the table there below but now we've been given some additional information and you can see how I've got a table an empty table below and the reason for that is as soon as I've been given more information in the question here that talks about other another event that means that I know that that tells me I've got to compile this information together and make a new set of table so we've got in the question here we've talked about young adults in the survey who were defined as obese okay so we're interested in the people that were defined as obese so here are the people that were defined as obese from those we've got 103 were smokers and 53 of those current smokers were male so that tells me in terms of my setup of the tail table I need my male and female still and I'm only looking at the obese people and I want to look at whether they are smokers or non-smokers. Okay, so in total, so this total here of obese, that is going to go into my total column. So I'm going to have my 222 males, 285 females and 507 people in total. So that's the obese people in total. Then I'm going to look at the new information. I was told 103 were current smokers. So the total number of smokers is 103. And 53 of those current smokers were male. So there are 53 smokers who are male, which now I can work out what the remaining numbers are. So 53 plus 50 will give us 103. Now I need to do my non-smoking numbers. So if I do a 222, take away 53, that gives me 169 there. 285 minus 50 gives me 235. And 507 minus 103 gives me 404. Now if you get to this value here of 235, that gets you your U towards your achieved. Here's the table tidied up. Now let's look at the actual question they want us to answer. What proportion of obese young adults in the sample were female non-smokers? So we, the whole data table that we've got here is about obese young adults. So it's talking about from the whole table. And we want to know the chance of being female non-smoker. So I want the probability of being female and being a non-smoker and so in total we have 507 obese young adults and from there there are um, female non-smokers oh sorry not that one female non-smokers is our 235 so it asks for it as a proportion so we can leave it there as a fraction or if you'd rather turn that into a decimal 0 0.4635 that's fine as well either of those answers gets you through to the merit so we can see that in the table here that getting to this 235 gets us our achieved and getting to the correct answer gets us the merit R Thanks very much for watching. Feel free to visit my website um, or subscribe to my channel below. And I've also got a link there to the playlist containing more videos in this exam.